dear students in this video we will discuss about discovery of electron in our previous lecture we discussed dalton theory of atom which says that all matter consists of tiny indivisible particles called as atom dalton thought that atom cannot be created neither can be destroyed that is atom cannot be cut down any further this assumption persists until experiments in performed in physics which showed that atom consists of even smaller particles in this video we will discuss very key experiment that led to the discovery of electron in 1897 jj thomson a british physicist and nobel laureate in physics credited with the discovery of electron the first subatomic particle to be discovered the question is how he discovered electron jj thomson was experimenting with the passage of electricity through an evacuated glass tube which is known as cathode ray tube cathode ray tube is the sealed glass tube from which the most of air has been evacuated cathode ray tube consists of cathode anode cathode and anode are connected with the high voltage source there is vacuum pump which is used to evacuate this glass tube glass tube is partially evacuated the other end of glass tube is coated with the phosphorus material and is used as a fluorescent screen fluorescent screen used to detect the particle which emitted from the cathode the pressure inside this glass tube is of 0.001 mm of mercury and high potential difference of 10 kV to 20 kV is applied across this electrode by applying the high voltage across this electrode particle emitted from cathode and it moved toward anode and it proceeds uniformly until this particle strike at the fluorescent screen this tube is called as cathode ray tube because the particle emitted from cathode in order to test the properties of these particles thomson placed two oppositely charged electric plate the particle deflected away from the negatively charged plate toward the positively charged plate this indicate that these charged particles are negatively charged to further confirm the nature of cathode rays thomson placed two magnet on either side of cathode ray tube and he observed that these cathode rays are particle interact with magnetic field and deflected toward the south pole of magnet This was another indication that these cathode rays or charged particles are negatively charged. Thomson repeated his experiment using different materials as a cathode and he observed that the nature of cathode rays remain constant no matter what cathode material they originated from. This on the basis of his experiment J J Thomson made some conclusion 
J.J. Thompson's first conclusion was that cathode ray must be made of things that are negatively charged. His second conclusion was that the particles which make these cathode rays are thousand times smaller than the hydrogen atom, as hydrogen atom is the smallest atom on the earth. Thirdly, he concluded that all different cathode rays generated from different metallic cathode gives of the same cathode rays with the same size. On the basis of his conclusions, he said that these cathode rays are electrons. Now, the key question is, why did Thompson concluded that electron could be found in atom? The answer is, Thompson tried changing the cathode material, which is the source of particle, since the same particle were emitted even when the cathode material changed to different matter. Thompson concluded that electron is the fundamental particle of all atoms. Dear students, 